What up, what up, what up, ladies and gents? All right. First conversation is going to be, it is dangerous to be a successful black man in America. Now, we know what happened with PD. It seems like over the last week or two, just Eric Adams, P. Diddy, I think there's a couple others, men basically getting hit with, uh, Jamie Foxx getting hit, hit with uh, sexual abuse allegations and all this other stuff, right? Now here's, the, here's my honest opinion. One, Diddy, Diddy is, is a monster. <laughs> Just because of his, his reputation, his reputation alone is going to drag him through the mud. Forget the whole casting situation. His reputation alone is going to drag him through the mud because he's he's a different he's a different breed. He's a different type of dude, you know, and I don't want to get into a bunch of circumstantial alleged information. We can go into Biggie, we can go into Tupac, we can go into the the var the various discussions of the, the individuals that were under his management talk about black rob and not helping him out i mean the list can go on and on and on to be honest but let's not even go down that road because it's too easy p diddy is too easy here's my thought process though how is it that people can come back and i get it there's a limitation of statute whatever 10 years five years seven eight nine ten and again, they're not filing for criminal charges. They want money. They want money. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years, and you can come back. Abuse allegations have no proof. Hearsay. Hearsay, and you get hit with charges. Even if, like with Adams, there's no open. I don't think there's an open case. They bought something from 93, 20 fucking years ago. 20 years ago. We don't know what happened 20 years ago. We don't. Let's be honest as men. Are, we, are you seriously telling me there is not plenty of women out here who sleep their way to a certain position, sleep their way into office, sleep their way into getting clients or business? We know that's a fact. I'm not even a fan of, I'm not a fan of any man, but I'm not, Mr. Adams' biggest supporter. I didn't vote for the man. But I damn sure don't think 20 years, a case from 20 years should be reopened today. All of a sudden at this moment. I mean, it is so disgusting to me. And I'm, I, and, and it's mainly black men in the news. Sure, I'm sure some files were filed against white people. We don't hear about them. We only hear about black men. And when you compare the number of successful black men to the successful number of white men, I'm sure the number is way more. <laughs> we know it's more. And you know these motherfuckers is deviants also. Why is it only black men that, are, that is being thrown into the fire? I look at Jamie Foxx. Listen, this guy is a triple damn threat. I am, I, listen, I am one of the straightest men you know. And you will ever know. And I know that because I've dealt with women who wanted to do all types of weird shit. And I had to tell these hoes no. Like, I don't know what you used to with these other niggas. Nah, you ain't going there. You ain't touching that. I'm not trying that. Like, I want to straight as dudes you know. Jamie Foxx is a handsome black man. A handsome black man who knows how to sing. He knows how to make you laugh. He knows how to act. I don't know if he can dance, but he's a very creative, artistic mofo. And just, I mean, like just listening to his his old interviews of meeting different people in different parties, this guy was the life of the goddamn party, son. Like, straight facts, this guy this guy is amazing. Talent-wise, talent this guy's a effing amazing, straight up. Do I honestly believe that Jamie Foxx would have to sexually assault or rape another woman? Hell no. Because you know women would drop their panties for a dude that got way less than Jamie. So you tell me he's got to go over there and assault women? Like, come on, man. Come on, bro. It makes no sense. Now, 
moving past that, let's get right down to the nitty gritty. If you are a man of means, or you know you're gonna have means, for example, I know, I, I don't have much now, but I know in three, five, seven years, maybe even one year, I'm gonna have so much more than what I have now. So where you're at today as a man is not where you're gonna be in five, 10 years, if you're working towards better. One year of hard work as a man is life-changing. One year of monk mode is life-changing, okay? I know that because I've done it, and I'm gonna do it again for 2024. So, it's not about where you're at, it's about where you're going. If you are a man of means, or you see yourself as a man of means in the future, you better be so effing careful with every interaction with every fucking woman that comes across your damn phone, your office, public, private, anything, anything. The Me Too was one level of the game that was like, this is disgusting. The fact that 10 years, 10 years, they're not asking for, 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 for you to be, for you to go to jail for your mistakes. They're asking to take as much money as possible because it is a money game. It is a money grab. You men better protect yourself like a mofo. Let me tell you something. I just started Facebook again. And I took away my Facebook because I was like, I see where society's going. I see where the social credit score is going. I want to get rid of all my old data. Of course, it never really goes away. But you know what? Get rid of that old profile. Let me start a new profile. Only business related. Only. I'm not talking about Bitcoin, crypto, personal, women, men. I don't give a F. I'm not even putting up these, these videos on it. Only thing that goes on that profile is real estate related. And maybe finance when I go there. But only business. Only business. So I've had a couple um, people that I've, I, I knew from middle school and high school, females, hit me up, see how I'm doing, real estate, they wanted my number. No, no thank you. Even my number online, I'm taking all of it off. I don't want no, no damn phone calls from people that see me online and don't call me. Yo, this year, this year, I've gotten random text messages from three different numbers I'm hoping they're all female, but from three different numbers, three different people, I'm hoping they're all female, positioning and propositioning themselves. One was, oh, you look good. I want to do all this nasty, like um, all these emoji stuff, which I, I, I don't, <laughs> I don't know really what, you know. And then two other people, wasn't as vulgar as that one, but were, oh, you, you handsome, you cute, and this and that. And I want to talk to you. And who is this? You don't tell, I block you and that's it. And I blocked all three of them. Three different number, three different people. Random, out there, I wanna get with you, like, I don't know. Block. The, the, the woman on, on um, my friend, uh, old acquaintances that, that will hit me up, hey, let's, let's catch up, let, no thank you, you can email me. Email me. I want doc, I want everything, you don't need to know my number. I don't need to know your number. There's nothing I want from you. There's nothing you're gonna do for me. There's nothing I'm doing for you. Facts. There, there's nothing, nothing, no one that is worth putting my future at risk. When we live in a society where women can come back five, 10 years down the road and say, you abused them. And from the, the court of public opinion, not evidence, public opinion. I'm talking about a juror, a jury. Of half women, half whatever.